Assalamualaikum, we from group 1 section 2 will present about case study group project We choose uh, Gaziantep Castle in Turkey for our project For our lecturer name is TS Dr. Muhammad Fahmi bin Abdul Rahman So we go to the next slide For our group members, uh, first my name is Siti Diana BT Zukanan, my metric number is CN220296. Next, uh, we have Nur Wazifa Binti Zakaria, Nur Intabakis Binti Rosli Zuri, Sidrata Anna, uh, Anna Laki Bala Subra Maniam, and Nur Safina Binti Jamadin. So we go to the project detail. The project within Gaziantep Castle, also known as Gaziantep Galaxy and Brookhill, is a media, medieval fortification in the Turkish city of Gaziantep. It is located on a hilly top in southern Turkey city of Gaziantep. The castle is located around 20 km west uh, of the city center on the rocky hill overlooking the airport. The castle is split into sections and walls that display architecture style from different age. It is built out in the shape of a rectangle with four primary gates facing in different directions. The castle and its surround have become a major tourist site, drawing people's interest in history, architecture and panoramic design. The castle uh, proximity to the Ypres River and its proximity to all train road control to its attraction. Its uh, architectural manipulation, strategic position and historical significance make it a fascinating spot to visit and learn about the past. Next, I will speak about the potential failure or defect at Gaziantep Castle in Turkey. Due to the powerful earthquake in Turkey, the walls of the castle collapsed and broke down into pieces. As per the reports, the iron railing around the castle was scattered on the surrounding sidewalk and roads. Large cracks were also seen in the bastion of the castle. Based on damage to the Gaziantep Castle building, we found some potential failure or defect that could occur in the buildings. The first failure is structural issues. Witness, witnesses or deficiencies in the building's foundation columns being for load-bearing walls that may compromise the overall structure integrity. The second failure is finishing and cosmetic defects. Cracks in wall or shearings uh, uneven flooring, peeling paint or substandard finishes can affect the aesthetic appeal on the building and diminish its value. The third failure is safety and accessibility non-compliance. Failure to meet safety code and accessibility standard can create hazard for occupants, particularly those with disabilities and may result in legal liabilities. The fourth failure is weak or unreinforced mensary. Older buildings, particularly those constructed with unreinforced mensary, are at greater risk of collapse during seismic activity because they can crumble or separate from the rest of the structure. And lastly, lack of maintenance and upkeep. Buildings may deteriorate due to inadequate maintenance which can weaken their structural components. Next, I'm going to present about the involvement of civil engineering technology. The castle construction is unknown. It was erected on top of Elden Mount that was present in the area 6,000 years ago when a civilization known as Theban lived there. The first one that important in civil engineering technology is structural analysis. Help engineers make decisions by using simple models of solid like bars, beams, and shells. The second one is the restoration and rehabilitation. Engineers can create strategies and plans to restore the castle while honoring its historical relevance. Number three, conservation of cultural heritage. Gaziantep Castle, as a cultural heritage monument, can benefit from civil engineering technologies. Number four, accessibility and visitor experience. 
creating and putting into place paths, ramps, steps, and other infrastructure may be required to increase accessibility for people with disabilities. I will talk about the issue. We identified that ignoring the building prevention procedure could lead to specific issues. Number one, structural safety and stability result in structural failures and collapse, which can cause damage to the building and pose a safety hazard to occupants. It can also lead to legal liabilities and penalties for violating building code and regulation. Number two, finishing and cosmetic defects in building can range from minor issues such as small cracks or paint blemishes to more serious problems such as water damage or structural issues. This defect can affect the appearance, functionality and safety of the building. It can lead to increased maintenance costs and decreased property values. Number three, safety and accessibility non-compliance lead to accidents and injuries which can result in legal liabilities and increased insurance costs. It is important to comply with ADA standards, conduct regular safety audits, and provide training and education to employees and building occupants. Number four, ignoring the issue of weak or unreinforced masonry. Lead to such a failure such as wall collapse or foundation failures which can cause damage to the building and pose a safety hazard to occupants. It can also lead to increased maintenance costs. Last, number five, lack of maintenance and upkeep. Lead to equipment breakdowns, which can disrupt the normal operations of the building and cause inconvenience or discomfort for the occupants. Result in health and safety risks, such as fire hazard, mold growth, poor indoor air quality and pest infestations. <coughs> In conclusion, the Zentab Castle stands as a captivating monument to the region's history and cultural heritage. Its ancient walls and architectural beauty offer a glimpse into the past, reminding us of the importance of preserving and cherishing our cultural treasure for generations to come. Its demise is a reminder of the fragility of ancient structures and the need for continuous preservation efforts. While the exact reason for the collapse may vary, the event underscores the importance of ongoing maintenance and invaluable heritage for future generations. Some of the recommendations that can be preferred in the castle is to make sure the structure of the castle is solid and capable to prevent any heavy natural attacks. Second of all, is to make sure to maintain the structure of the castle. And lastly, make sure the safety of the castle is always protected and do a monthly routine check on the structure of the building. Thank you.